Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach from CES Motorsport. Here today, we're actually working on a G80. Today, we're working on a skid plate. We're gonna upgrade the plastic one to an aluminum one. It's a really common upgrade for the F80s, and now we got new ones for the G80. So as you can see, actually, on these, just completely open, whereas before on the F80s, you kind of had a little straight here and there, and they don't really do a whole lot for protection. So you're getting all kinds of road grime, rocks, and all kinds of stuff that are gonna take out these fins. We've actually seen a couple of the cores fail. We haven't seen them on the G80s yet, but it's gonna come and actually as you can see already this one's already completely cracked through well, almost completely cracked through and you're not gonna have that issue with aluminum whereas with these plastic or fiberglass reinforced plastics they're just gonna crack over time so what we're gonna do is we actually got one it's even got our name nice Nice this aluminum, a few mil thick. It's gonna be a direct replacement for the plastic. And actually, instead of just having an open piece, we have these nice hexagonal patterns. So that way it's like, yeah, you'll get a little bit of debris in there, but most of it's just gonna bounce right off. You're not gonna have any issues with the oil pan being punctured or having the fins being damaged so that way you have proper oil cooling. Well, let's get into the install and we'll see how this thing fits. <laughs> Broken on both sides. Only being held in by that little rubber piece. It's like that's just for flexibility so that way it's not actually, it can butt up properly against the cooler without actually puncturing or damaging it. So that way you have a nice flexible piece. It's not rubbing or anything like that. Oh yeah. Yep. Easy enough. Perfect fitment. Nice fitment. You got a little bit of a gap here, which is what you want. You don't want to have it sitting right up against the oil pan because aluminum on aluminum and even plastic on aluminum, something's going to give. And you don't want to find out who's going to win that fight. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. So these are actually just for a little bit extra support. You have to have the spacer in order to make sure it mounts properly. But what you end up doing, because it weighs, because the aluminum weighs a bit more than the plastic one, they just want it to be more rigid. So you remove this bolt here and this bolt here, and you're gonna place that spacer there, and you're gonna reinstall these longer bolts. So that's actually gonna go through right here. And then you'll have that spacer, and that's gonna bolt. mount through the belly pan, and that's gonna mount to the subframe. You gotta make sure to remove these from the factory skid plate and put them in the proper locations for the front so that way you could actually still mount it to the front bumper. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
Yes, it did. The nail sides are not being short. Um, and now you're ready for your off-road. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Looks really good. Fitment's like perfect. It does. It is really good. It's, it takes a second to kind of like pop into place, but um, fits well. Um, where can people buy this? People can go to our website at cesmotorsport.com. And if you want a quote or anything like that for any other work, just shoot us an email at sales at cesmotorsport.com.